It's after 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Right now on the 10 o'clock news. Drying out. We can finally say goodbye to the rain that brought more flooding to our area today. Audrey standing by with a first look at tomorrow's forecast. And displaced and frustrated more than a week after a fire ripped through their Queens apartment building. Some tenants say the housing options they're being offered aren't good or close enough. But first, breaking tonight, a wild scene of smashed cars, including a police SUV on Staten Island, after police say a man stole a box truck and did everything he could to get away from officers who were in hot pursuit. Good evening. I'm Natasha Verma. And I'm Teresa Priolo in for Steve. Two officers were injured, and police are telling us that suspect is now in custody. All of this going down in the Stapleton section of Staten Island. That's where our Kendall Green is with the latest. Crushed cars, one on top of another. The aftermath of a miles-long police chase that began around 5.50 Thursday evening. Numerous times we tried to set up mitigation points to close, but it was obvious he was not going to stop, and he was putting the public in grave danger. Police were investigating a man they say was wanted for several crimes crossing state lines early. You're watching the 10 o'clock news. Flovent, a commonly prescribed brand name inhaler to treat asthma in children and adults, is just days away from being discontinued. And as Fox News Richard Giacova shows us, even though there is a generic version available, it's still causing concern and confusion. Once the new year comes, Deanna Harris isn't sure what her 10-year-old daughter is going to do once her asthma inhaler is pulled from pharmacy store shelves. She needs some medication because without it, she's at risk for having an asthma attack. Deanna's daughter, like most kids with severe asthma, you... If you are a fan of 50 Cent, Westchester was the place to be today. The legendary rapper holding a New Year's Eve champagne and cognac tasting this afternoon at Stu Leonard's Wines and Spirits in Yonkers. 50 Cent also signed bottles. And get this, back in March, a bottle of his champagne sold for $325,000 wow. at a wine competition in Houston. Congratulations, Fitty. What Did it have like specks <laughs> of gold inside? What must have, must must have, have been. We have to and his him. signature, too, yeah. probably. And that's our news for tonight. Thanks for staying up late with us. And good day. We'll have your latest headlines beginning at 4.30 a.m. We'll see you back here tomorrow night.